Welcome, my friends, to another edition of Tiffin Box TV. I'm your host, Seishu, and this is another Inspire Photo Retreat sponsored, partnered interview with Jessica Del Vecchio, who's a photographer based in Washington, D.C. Uh, Jessica is presenting at Inspire, and that's in just in a few days, Jessica. Yeah, I'm are you, excited. Are you excited and hyped up? I am. I am. Yeah. Um, I'm going to be there actually starting on Sunday instead of showing up on Monday morning. I'm just, I'm, I'm so so pumped i gotta be there on sunday sunday yeah, afternoon I'll be there sunday too excellent jessica thanks for joining me uh we wanted to get a little bit of uh of, of an introduction and you know tell us a little bit about your work what is it that you do in washington dc um i um mainly do uh family portraits but also weddings and events and um other photography, whatever, you know, um, but I would say primarily I do uh, family portraiture, uh, documentary style. Oh, okay. Excellent. So, so that's sort of like your, your in thing. Like you really, yeah. you're really excited about that stuff. Uh, interestingly, so am I, but we'll, <laughs> and so we'll talk a little bit more about that when we meet. Um, you're going to be teaching a very interesting class at Inspire. I mean, you're you're not just presenting; you're actually teaching people. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So let's t let's tell people what it is it that you're going to be teaching teaching them. Um, I'm going to be teaching uh, salted paper printing, which is one of the it is the oldest form of paper printing um, of photography, um, and it's. It's really fun and it's easy. It's something that you can really easily do at home, even if you don't have a lot of space or, and it's something that I just kind of fell in love with and gets you away from being at the computer and, you know, back to kind of, it reminds me of back when I was always in the dark room and <laughs> hanging out and just that slow down and, uh, enjoy the creative process that way. Absolutely. G give us an idea though. Can you, Tell us a little bit more about how these prints are made. So you start with um, taking a, you have to put a salt base on the paper and then you coat it with a silver nitrate for, uh, to make it light sensitive. Okay, yeah. And then it's uh, sensitive to UV light. So you don't need a dark room, you just need shades or, <laughs> um, and uh, then I have a UV light or you could use sunlight and, um, you can use film negatives if you have a large format film negative, or you can take your digital images and make a negative and print it out on transparency. So you can really combine your digital processes with these old techniques. That's which awesome. Just opens up a whole world of things that you can do. That is fantastic. Um, and, and in terms of uh, longevity and archival archivability, are these going to be something that will last forever and ever? Or Yes. So I use a gold-based uh, toner, uh -huh. which does make them archival. And uh -huh. then you can also uh, varnish them or wax them if you want to uh, preserve them longer. But, Excellent. Um, well, this is this is a very interesting thing because a lot of people are struggling to differentiate themselves in the marketplace, right? And this gives a, a photographers a chance to do something completely kind of wacky and weird yeah. and fun right? <laughs> and fun <laughs> yeah and 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 imagine being able to just show up at your client's door with a stack of these and say these are for you you know and, they're, and they, they probably have never seen something and, like that right right and everyone is unique because even if even though you may use the same negative because you're applying the materials to the paper right. um there's you know visible brush strokes um uh, and it depends on how you want to do it. I personally really like the brush strokes and I tend to try and make that part of what the finished product is. And yep. so then each piece is different in that way. Right. It, this, this reminds me of my, my time at uh, the main photo workshops where I learned uh, to do pa platinum palladium prints. And yeah. it, it, the, 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 the brush strokes themselves were somewhat, somewhat cool to look at. You know, it's kind right. of weird to, to explain that but, or express that. But, you know, the, the fact that the image doesn't look completely like filled in on the page, but the brush strokes give it some character and uh, ability to, to tell a story somehow. I don't know. Um, yeah, I first learned um, palladium printing at the rebirth workshops and um when i came home and i was like oh, i really want to try and do this at home and i wasn't sure if i was going to be able to and 
platinum and palladium is kind of expensive Very and expensive, yes. salt printing is not. So <laughs> I thought, well, I'll try that. Like a salt printing kit is I think around $30. And, um, so I said, well, I'll just try that before I, and I just kind of fell in love with it. It has a really pretty like aubergine color, um, that you just don't really get from any other process. Gotcha. And, yeah. Excellent. Uh, you decided to, uh, you, you, first of all, let me back up a little bit. You were at Inspire last year as a participant. Yes. And then you decided, I'm going to come back, but I want to be coming back as a teacher. How, <laughs> how did that happen? Um, well, I just, um, I don't, I thought, I have been talking, I think, with Matt Grazier about some, you know, about the different hands-on things and how he, they were hoping for more for this year. And I thought, well, I have something that I could <laughs> teach that's hands-on. And <laughs> so um, that's why... I, I decided to submit. Excellent. Fun. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, uh, when is your class going to be? Is it going to be on Monday? It's on Monday at nine o'clock from nine until four thirty. Oh, wonderful! Wow, that's excellent. so. And it's combined with um, uh, Sarah Dugan's class, which is cyanotype. So wonderful! Look at all these different things that people can do at Inspire, huh? It's yeah. Not, you know, that's another thing that I really like about Inspire is like. It's not just to come in and sit down in your chair and listen to us for the entire day kind of thing. You you get in there and you can you can meet people, you can hang out with people, you can do things like make prints, right? Right. You can and you can I mean you can stretch up stretch your legs and actually go and actually have fun, you know, which is really uh I think it's amazing. I think it's an amazing yeah. opportunity to to learn. I mean, it's a it's a great way to learn to be honest with you. So, um Jessica, thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate it. Uh, I thank look you. forward to seeing you at Inspire, and uh, let's uh, let's drink to it. Take care. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.